Hi, I'm Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell. To date, we have over 30 centers nationwide, including here in San Gabriel Regenerative Medicine Research Clinic with the medical director of Dr. Yuan that we've been thankful enough to work with and grateful enough. Uh, we've now done over 10,000 successful stem cell procedures. Now, in the U.S., the FDA regulates regenerative medicine procedures and we follow those regulations at all of our centers. We've also done so many cases for so many conditions that we have a lot of best practice protocols that our centers follow. I'll tell you a little bit about some of the conditions that are receiving excellent benefit from these treatments. First and foremost, all of the bone and joint type conditions such as uh, good old degenerative arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic or lupus arthritis, uh, whether it's in a juvenile or an adult, it responds really well to the regenerative biologics. Um, additionally, what we often see is excellent benefit for things like COPD, emphysema, asthma, you know, lung conditions. Um, in addition, some heart conditions can respond really well to it. Post-stroke and other neurodegenerative issues, ALS, MS, um, things such as that. Alzheimer's. With Alzheimer's, for instance, we often see uh, people able to remember things better. They can uh, perform their activities of daily living, you know, really slow down and sometimes reverse uh, the symptoms of, of dementia. In addition to that, uh, people who suffer from such things like trigeminal neuralgia. You know, trigeminal neuralgia involves facial pain um, that comes from a nerve that just won't let up. And when it talk about that, post-herpetic neuralgia, uh, neuropathy, a lot of things that are just very horrifying if a patient actually has that, that don't respond well to traditional conservative medicines, they respond really well most of the time to these regenerative stem cell therapies. Other things that respond well includes things like Lyme disease. You know, 20% of Lyme disease treatments end up with uh, post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome which can involve all types of joint pain, neurologic issues, and it's just a, not a great way to live. But with the regenerative biologic, a lot of times that can be mitigated and patients tend to do really, really well. One of the questions that we get asked all the time is how quickly do these treatments start to work and how long do they last? Well, when you talk about how quickly they start to work, it's anywhere from a couple days to four to five weeks is when they start to really kick in and patients get a lot of symptomatic relief. And oftentimes with something like knee arthritis, the treatments continue to gain benefit over a period of six to nine months. And then it often settles into a baseline of pain relief for years.